My name is Marie, and I am a biomedical science student. Over the summer of 2018, I was fortunate to be involved in the School of Public Health and Preventative Medicine Summer Vacation Program. During the program, I was assigned to my supervisor, Nazmul, where we looked at the clustering of non-communicable disease risk factors among the elderly in Bangladesh, using data from the World Health Organization's STEPS survey. Before working with the data of the research project, it was vitally important for me to firstly understand the key aspects of my research project, such as what is non-communicable disease? What are the risk factors? What is clustering in the context of these risk factors? Why should we consider the elderly? And how does this all tie in with Bangladesh? NCD, such as cardiovascular diseases, stroke, diabetes, cancer and respiratory disease, account for a significant global burden of disease and mortality. In Bangladesh, NCDs accounted for 52% of total deaths in 2011, whilst in 2016, this figure rose to 67%, which is staggering. Even though NCDs are typically associated with wealthier developed countries, what we're seeing here is that NCDs are imposing a significant public health burden on least developed countries too. Although NCDs are known to be linked with risk factors such as obesity, tobacco use, harmful consumption of alcohol, low fruit and vegetable intake, insufficient physical activity, raised blood pressure and raised blood glucose, it is not enough to look at these on an individual basis. Risk factors rarely occur in isolation, and NCDs are rarely the cause of one single factor. Instead, it is the tendency of risk factors to occur together through clustering, which is vital to addressing the NCD epidemic. Coupled with a rapidly aging population and individuals living longer lives worldwide, this means the elderly have had an increased lifetime exposure to risk factors, making them susceptible to NCDs. This dual burden of an ageing population and NCDs is a significant health issue in Bangladesh. And through looking at the clustering of risk factors, this can assist the creation of interventions to help mitigate the issue of NCDs manifesting in the near future. Working with the data of 1,798 elderly people collected from the STEP survey in 2010, we aim to find patterns and predictors of NCD risk factor clustering among the elderly population in Bangladesh. This led me to learning how to use the statistical software SPSS for the first time, which will certainly be an invaluable skill in my future research endeavours. It also helped me to put my first year biostatistics learning in a practical research context. After the data was analysed, we found significant results indicating that clustering of risk factors was highly prevalent amongst the elderly, with women elderly aged over 80 years and wealthy individuals being more likely to show clustering of three or more risk factors. In addition, clustering was found to be significantly associated with hypertension and diabetes. Being a part of this process was really exciting, especially knowing how these findings will make a difference and inform public health initiatives implemented in Bangladesh. It has also allowed me to gain a better appreciation of research and its applications towards improving health. Having finished drafting the manuscript, I'm currently finalising a paper that will hopefully soon be published. Aside from working on my research project, the program has allowed me to have many invaluable opportunities, from meeting like-minded students, participating in various excursions, hearing about postgraduate research, to learning more of what a career in public health looks like. Overall, participating in the summer vacation program has been an enlightening experience, opening my eyes to the world of research and the field of public health. The skills I've gained over the summer will undoubtedly put me in good stead for pursuing future research endeavours.